job complete three days three full days um, not happy about the, the trim uh, I got to put it a bit for these the original bit didn't say trim and uh, and it's exposed the windows are exposed and I um you know I don't like that I called they said to put in a bid I gave them a bid over the phone and they said there's no room for profit if I do it at the price I gave them I'm not coming I'm not driving four hours for no two or three hundred bucks I told them thirteen hundred you know these windows have J channels so they mount to the outside you know expensive windows too at that you know another company comes and see this or somebody else now, it doesn't have to be necessarily other companies um they'll see this and then they'll they'll take it man um, nobody's gonna stop them you know it's poor this area is real poor so people ain't gonna give a fuck but anyway let's go around the entire property uh, a lot of windows I couldn't find nothing that size so got the smallest and built it up that was there that stays there reglazed that one and I reglazed that one brand new window fucking Phelps fell I already took those switches all new windows man my one fear is that somebody's gonna come and take them Oh, let's go into the back because I'm not walking around. Anyway. Hold on. Uh, piece of two by four. Uh, this is the inside. We're in the rear of the house. And I'm not happy with that. And I called, I told them. You know. So, it is what it is, you know. You can't. You can't, can't do more than what they're paying you for. All right, now I did the, the I redid the electrical in the basement. I ran a little over 600 feet on in the property. Um, it was a pain in the ass, man. This guy ran wire, connected everything to the box, um, and he act the the panels live. So we got uh, wires that were cut while it was live. So you got these live wires just folded up and tucked up in the corner. And um, I think it was it's nuts, man. I called the bank. or oh, not the bank. I keep saying bank. It's not a bank. Um, it's an insurance um, company um, that deals strictly with foreclosures. Um... And, uh, you know, um, I told them, and they weren't happy, man. You know, that, that could set a fire, you know. So, I told them, the guy wasn't happy, you know, obviously. Who would be? You gotta take pictures of these windows. That's what I came to do, so I gotta show them that I did my job. Anyway, um, yeah, box these out. <sighs> um, just it's been a long, hard three days going at it like a nut job man it's been tough tough three days um oh hard work you know 
I'm taking pictures so you guys can see, you know, I don't, you know. I really wish I would have gotten the, the approval for the trims so I don't have to come back up here. This window was supposed to put a new glass in, but I couldn't, so I had to put a new window in. And these windows, look, you know, you guys can see. Just look at this gap. I don't like that. I wanted to bring it down, but they just said install windows. So that's what I did. Um, anyway, job is complete, man. 100%. The plumbing's all done. Uh, yeah, we just did our thing, you know. Um, I don't know why this is here. I don't want this here. Anyway, the job is done, 100%. Um, these people, you know, guy that had it sat on it for a while, since February, and um, I did it in three fucking days. Um, with the money the guys, uh, they, they told me that they, the job was for. It's like $7,000 rounding off. Um, total investment. A little over 3500 man. Um, or probably more. So, you know, I'm, I'm not... You know, I, I just don't know what to say. Because... All these windows, man. So I had to... Sometimes you have to bite the bullet. You know what I mean? Um, and accept things for what they are. And... You know, they called me, Pete, you want to do this? We need this done immediately. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Um, and that's that. So, you can't win them all. You know, but this is not a losing. I just have to wait for my money. But, it's detailed, man. You got to gotta work with what you got. And sometimes, jobs allow for money. Sometimes the job just doesn't, and you just got to accept it for what it is. Um, just exhausted. My cousin, he's fucking beat. Look at him. He wants to go. Look at him. He's fucking tired. So, uh, tough, tough three days, man. Long, long days. So... Anyway, um, I want you guys to see, man. I don't think I have enough time. I got about, I got enough time for this thing. You know, got the truck on with the AC bumping. Let these guys see these windows. One fucking flash. I don't like this camera, man. And the funny thing is about this camera that I'm using, I have three of them. Um, <sighs> just tired. It's one of them days. Oh, one of the weekends, really. This is a weekend gig, you know, and then I go back to doing preservation work. Um, whew, almost done. Gotta go back to the basement. Um, I had nothing to do with this up here, and I don't want nothing to do with this up here. I'm taking little pictures. I don't give a fuck. I'm just exhausted. I am beat the fucking hell. Um. Anyway, this is a job completed, man. Gotta take pictures instead of getting in your car and driving away like you should. Um. You know, sign a contract to the job. If nothing is done, your ass is going to get sued or you won't get your money. You know, um, but it is what it is. Oh, funny story. I met some local guys, man. Those two guys are on the other video about this job. Uh, Macho and Cuba. So it's a funny situation because... Um, my cousin overheard the guy say 
Oh, he saw us bringing in the sink and shit. And um, he goes, oh, there goes my new sink. And uh, my cousin told me. And, um, you know, I don't want nobody fuck on my shit, man. You know what I mean? Especially if I invest a ton of money and then have somebody take my shit away. You know, fuck it up. So I told him I don't bust gra grapes, I bust caps. And the motherfucker came over to me. I said, what you said? I said, you fucking hurt me. Anyway, he was like, no, nah, listen, man, I want to know if I can help you guys. And I was like, what do you know how to do? You know, right off the bat, he told me, oh, I know how to do this, do that. You know, he knew his thing. He knew how to cut wood. You know, he was, without them, you know, we would have never finished the job in three days. Um, but, uh, you know, with that being said is that, you know, it's funny how situations arise out of negative, neg negativity and something positive comes out. And uh, that's what happened, man. You know, he ended up working for two days. Um, and he made some money. And, I, you know, he helped us to get the fuck out of here. I got to go to the basement. I got a feeling I'm coming back to this property. So. Ooh. I'm actually gonna tell him to come get this debris from here. All right, let's go to the basement. Uh, maybe dark. Oh, shit. This basement sells, smells like cat piss. Like straight up cat piss. You ever had a friend that all he smelled like was cat piss? Well, that's what he, this fucking basement smells like. Yeah, like I said, it's dark. So hopefully you guys can see the camera sees. I put in. I don't know if you saw that. Anyway, bear with me, man. I'm gonna go to another room where there's light. Um, showing that I ran wire and I ran packs at the same time. Put in some new boxes for lights. So you saw that blue thing. You know, they ain't time to connect the hot water heater. So that's what they get. They get that. You know. Um, yeah, see, this is all me, but it's not loose. I got my feed going in, it's wire nutted, it's going back out. Um, it's feeding this box right here, which is almost centered to the room. Um, and then you got my lines everywhere, you know what I mean? Uh, also, again, here it's uh. Bang on box, 1900 plastic. Um, not putting the covers on because I want these people to see what's here. Um, you know, wires, I ran them. I pulled them out from the old way and just chopped them up into pieces and left them on the floor. I don't fucking scrap. And I'm not taking no scraps. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my patch to the main. They, they didn't tell me to put in a valve. Also, again, left a bunch of pieces of the copper here. Anyway, guys, I want to get the fuck out of here. Um, long motherfucking three fucking days, tired, beat the fucking shit, but made money in three days. Holiday weekend at that. Uh, but, um, yo. Know, Sometimes you just got to go, 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 and no matter what, man, just keep on pushing. No matter what happens, man, do always do the right thing. Always do the next best thing. You know what I mean? Um, you got any questions, any comments, please leave them. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching once again. I am tired as a motherfucker. I'm ready to get on the road and drive Three and a half hours slash four because I am going to pull over and take a quick motherfucking nap. Um, but probably once I'm driving for a bit, I'm going to take a nap as soon as I get on the highway. <laughs> anyway, man, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your subscriptions um, and your comments, man. They're very motivating. I like them. And, you know, thank you. Anyway, I'll post more pictures up. I got a couple more things going on. I'm going to put you guys on.